And I'm thankful for all the new conservation mandates enacted to protect the most vulnerable areas of Brazil's rainforest from deforestation. Uh, Barbie, shut up. And of course, I'm thankful for the contractors who helped me redesign this dining room, which no one has commented on, even though I had to keep Barbie's awful photo. It's iconic. That's enough from you, Anastasia. Chelbo, go. I'm mostly just thankful that I was born into a rich family. Do we like each other? No. But can I pay for all the therapy required to deal with that? Absolutely. Oh, that is a new high score. Are you even listening? Huh? Why would I do that? Barbie, your turn. What are you thankful for? Oh, so many things. I am first of all thankful that the antibiotic course that Ken just completed was successful in ridding him of the chlamydia that I gave to him. I am so very, very thankful that Yasmin, Tommy, and their little cult decided to go on a Disney cruise over Thanksgiving. And I'm hopeful that the half million dollar donation I gave to the company on the proviso a staff member accidentally throws one of them overboard will pan out to my liking. And I am very, very thankful that Pineapple themselves gifted me the new Pineapple Me Phone 36 just for being a celebrity. I have never played Candy Crush in such a vivid retina display. You realize people stopped playing Candy Crush in like 2014, right? You realize you sound like you're butt hurt that you only have a Pineapple Me Phone 32, right? I mean, you would think if your boyfriend works at the Pineapple Store, he'd be able to get you a discount on an upgrade, but no. Oh, that'll be my 30 minute reminder from the phone to drink more. The phone tells you to drink more alcohol. Technically, I think it's a water drinking reminder, but when life gives you lemons, you make vodka lemonade, Tinka. I thought you always said that when life gives you lemons, you should throw them at people you don't like. And I stand by that advice. Barbie, if those drinking reminders are set to every 30 seconds, you better change it right now or you're gonna die. No, no, that's my live social media engagement counter. It tells me exactly how many followers I've gained hour by hour. Exactly what your narcissism needs. Yep, so my Instagram has gained 117 followers in that last hour. My TikTok has gained 341 and my OnlyFans has gained 12. I mostly post videos of my feet. Is there really a niche in the sex industry for videos of toeless feet? Um, Yes, Stacy. What a dumbass question. I swear to Mattel, Barbie, if that's about your Pornhub following... My Pornhub following pays the bills around here and you know it. It's just my... Uh, huh. Your huh? What's your huh? Nothing. Just my Facebook followers. Yeah, and? I gained 97 followers in the last hour. Okay. And I lost one. <laughs> Nobody say anything. Just stay very still until we can properly assess the threat. Barbie? I said nobody say anything! I lost a follower. Barbie, don't worry about that. It was probably like a deactivated account or something, okay? Barbie, did you hear what I said? I lost a follower! Ken, are you awake? Uh, penguin farm. Ken, are you awake? Hold up, his ass let me skip his room, I'll hurt him! No, Ken. Uh, okay, okay, now I, now I think. <gasps> <sighs> what? Why do you think that person unfollowed me? I don't know. Why do you care so much? Your alerts tell you that you gain new followers all the time. Why does this matter? Today, it's one lost follower. Tomorrow, it's two, then eight, then 20, then hundreds, and suddenly, I'm as irrelevant as Ariana Grande's ethnicity. Okay, so maybe it's the content you post. My content is absolute fire. Here I am, dressed as fire, standing next to a fire, and literally breathing fire. I didn't even mean to do that. I just have so much ethanol in my breath that when I blew out that candle, it erupted into flames. See, you're great. You don't need that follower. I need to know what happened to make them actively unfollow me. Like it's more effort to unfollow than it is to just ignore me. Barbie, I don't know what to say. It's just a random person who you don't really know. You don't follow them. You only follow celebrities, some meme pages, and cocktail mixologists. Just go to sleep. And remember, you're great. You don't need them, okay? I've lost a follower. Daisy. Uh, no, Harvest. I don't like eel sushi. Daisy, ew. No, stop. I don't want to hear about your sex dreams, even though I am proud you aren't heteronormative like your lame sisters. What? But what's happening? Is dad attacking Anselm again? Uh, no. When did that happen? Well, I don't care. I'm here to talk about me, not other people. I want to discuss my social media. You think it's fire, right? Well, it's definitely a celebrity-style social presence. I am a celebrity, so yeah. 
Your point? Social media was created for genuine connection between people and not this superficial narcissistic BS that people use it for these days. No, it wasn't. It was created to rate the hottest girls at Harvard. Have you never watched The Social Network? Also, your entire feed is literally photos of your food, sunsets, and selfies. So super genuine and unique. Get out of my room and let me sleep or get to your point, Barbie. I want to know why I lost a follower today. Do you think it's jealousy and they couldn't stand to see my perfect life in their social feed Anymore? It could be anything because there are so many reasons to unfollow someone. Should I get you a pen and paper so you can make me a list? As much as I like making lists, it's 3 a.m. I'm tired and the list still won't give you any real answers. Why did you just find out who unfollowed you and ask them yourself? Can't you do it? No! Get the f out of my room and do something yourself for once in your goddamn life! It's these moments when I see a fleeting glimpse of me in you. Good morning, what the? Oh, hey, I did it. You finally had a mental breakdown? No, I figured out who unfollowed me. Oh, oh, okay then. It took all night, and I had to swap between tequila and espresso shots to get it done, but I found them. She's from New Zealand, and I know her full name, her address, her date of birth, her closest relatives, her best friends, and her place of work. Also a bunch about her medical history. Interesting stuff there. That is some dedicated cyber stalking. Did you contact them? I mean, I didn't not contact her, but I didn't contact her account directly. She could just block me or worse, leave me on red. So instead I contacted her relatives and also I tried to call her at work. That could get her into trouble. Where does she work? That's her own fault for unfollowing me if it lands her in sh she works at a call center for insurance. I've called it like 43 times and they keep transferring me to the wrong people. They asked me to stop calling, but they were so nice about it. I don't think they actually want me to stop. So why don't you just ask her directly then? I may have to. Can you get the jet ready? Wait, what? Uh, yeah. We're gonna go to New Zealand right now so we can find out why she unfollowed me. This was your idea instead of writing me a list of reasons. Okay, that's just crazy. I didn't think you would find out who this person was, let alone stalk them down in real life. Also, you can't fly a plane, you haven't slept, and your breath is almost as flammable as that time you blew out my birthday candles. You can fly then. I only got my provisional pilot license for emergencies. This is an emergency! I will come, okay? But not because it's an emergency, but because you're going to the land where the Lord of the Rings was made. Okay, great, I don't care why you want to go. This is about me, so get your together because we is going to the land of smiles. That's Thailand. The Rainbow Nation. That's South Africa. The land down under. Technically that's Australia but I mean it can refer to New Zealand also. Where do you store these useless facts? Is it in the part of your brain that should know how to read the room? Get your shit. we going. That was the smoothest flight I've ever been on. Thank you. You're welcome. Valium. Oh. Hello, welcome to Auckland. How can I help you? Oh, hi. I was wondering if you could direct us to Shush, more... Stacy. I speak the language here, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. Can you tell me where to find a place called New Zealand Insurance? I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry. I understand your friend, okay? We get yanks through here all the time. NZA Insurance is in the CBD. Here is a map. What? Did you just make fun of my shoes? I will have you know Christian Louboutin did a whole collection inspired by these shoes. Uh, she gave us this map. Um, so I was thinking we could check into our hotel, get something to eat, and make a plan on how you want to do this. Okay, I'll just see you at the hotel then, bitch. I'm looking for an Emily Warea Cooper. Hello there, I am Emily Warea Cooper. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet me? Oh, don't be so coy, you know who the f I am. Have we met before? I'm Barbara f***ing Roberts. Oh, you're the famous fashion model, right? Famous teenage fashion model, yes, but you know that already. What can I do for you, Barbara? Tell me why two days ago you unfollowed me on my Facebook account. Oh, I, uh, uh, I'm not sure what you mean. I didn't know I followed you. You followed me. Your social media feed wasn't pathetic two days ago. I'm sorry, that must have been my daughter. She pushes all the wrong things on my phone. She's just obsessed with that cocomelon show. It snitches my phone from me at all the wrong time. Oh, so it was an accident then. Look, I'll just refollow you right now. I'll just look you up, see, and there, go, done. Thank you. I'm glad we got that all sorted out. Not a problem. I'm sorry I just showed up here like this. I I'm just a super passionate person. It's okay, I completely understand. I feel a bit foolish, really. Oh, don't worry about it. Well, I'm gonna go then. Okay, you have a good one then. You also have one that's good. What was all that about? No clue. Where have you been? I went to every bar in Malibu looking for you. And where the hell is Stacy? I've had to make my own breakfast 
for three days now. Stacy, no idea. I've been in New Zealand. New Zealand? What for? I tracked down the woman, Emily Warea Cooper, who unfollowed me. A silly technical error, hilarious. Turns out her kid accidentally unfollowed me. Something about a melon or, I don't know. So we fixed it and she's following me again. No harm done. Emily Warea Cooper. She's not following you, Barbie. What? That can't be! Oh, that little bitch. All right, I'll be back in a few days. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow us on social media, links below. And check out our merchandise, links below as well. Love Sam. And Mickey. So you're telling me your mum left you here in New Zealand all by yourself? Yes, and honestly, I couldn't be happier. New Zealand is great. You have great food, amazing scenery, plus you have a female prime minister. Oh uh, yeah, it's a pretty great place, hey? Uh, we also get to be in films a bit. Actually, I was orc number 302 in the second Lord of the Rings film. My mum was pretty proud. Look, I uh, know you only just met me, but uh, if you need anything, here is my mum's number, here is my auntie's number, and my cousin's number. They're all police officers. You have a good one, Stacey. Wow, New Zealanders are nice. Like Canadian nice. Like Canadian nice on steroids. I don't know what have a good one means, but it feels so nice to hear. I could stay here forever.